I rise on a point of order to seek your ruling on uh, this particular issue. Honorable uh, member Gideon Mbuvi walked in. You can see he's putting on shades and some things in his ears. I want you to declare if that's really in order for a member to dress that way, if that is appropriate. Gideon Bovi, whereas the house has never, in the history of this house that I have known myself, and probably many members will bear it out, had a situation in which a member of parliament who is a male has come in with earrings, or some stuff in the ears, whatever you want to call them. Do you have any explanation for that? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I think it's not supported in the standing orders. And it's a matter of dressing, Mr. Speaker. And I'm representing the youth in this house, Mr. Speaker. I think the honorable member should concentrate on his constituents, Mr. Speaker, instead of interfering with me, Mr. Speaker. Honorable members, the dress code in the chambers in the house is not covered under the standing orders, but it's covered in the speaker's rules. The speaker's rules, rule number five, says that members are required not to enter the chamber, lounge, or dining room without being properly dressed. And this goes far, far down, further down, and gives a footnote which says, "This means coat, collar, tie, long trousers, socks, and shoes, or service uniform." or decent national dress for men, and an equivalent standard for women with hats optional. Clearly from these speaker's rules, we realize that the members of the speaker's panel at the time of the speaker's committee did not emphasize the possibility of a man putting on something that amounts to either studs or, or earrings, whatever you want to call it. Under the circumstances, I am going to rule in accordance with standing order number one, which says, in all cases where matters are not expressly provided for by these standing orders or by other standing orders of the House, procedural questions shall be decided by the Speaker. But nonetheless, the manner in which we are going to deal with this is also going to be decided by the Speaker. And the Speaker vehemently says the dress or the manner in which the Honorable Sonko is dressed today does not depict in the eyes and the opinions and the conscience of the chair. Address, address befitting the dignity of this house and a member of parliament. And under the circumstances, the honorable movie, you will remain out of the house until such time that you dress properly. Can you go out of the house and come back when you are dressed properly? Movie, you will remain out of the house and come back when you are properly dressed. 